Hello everyone! Today we continue working with the asymmetric dress. This is the mock-up on which we drew all the modeling lines last time. I haven't done anything else yet. I'll show you what to do next. The thing is that before we cut this mock-up into details, we need to cut lining. Before cutting lining, we need to cut the bottom, divide this mock-up into front and back details. When everything is ready, we'll cut the mock-up into details and start working with fabric. As I've already said, first we need to cut the bottom. I need to make a beautiful line according to the marks put by Natalie. I'm much better at cutting than at drawing. The back is ready. Now I'll move on to the front. When we finish cutting the bottom, we'll cut the neckline. I want to make a dress a bit shorter, so I'll change these lines. I draw the bottom the way I want it to look like. Do not forget that there will be a cut here in the center front. We'll cut it when we start working with the dress itself. I'm going to cut lining first. This is how the bottom of the dress looks like now. It's asymmetric. This is how the back and the front look like. Let's move on to the neckline. I think that I'll remove the tacking from the side seams. You'll understand why I do it. I put the marks in the point where the line should match on the side seam. I'm working with the neckline now. This is the front neckline. I'll cut the neckline right away. This is the back neckline. I'm just making the lines more smooth and beautiful. Of course, it's very hard to draw perfect lines in the body. The pattern is almost ready. The thing is that I not only want to show you the design, I want to show you the sewing technique. The front neckline is ready. It's asymmetric. This is the back neckline. It's also asymmetric. This is how the neckline looks like now. Now I want to change the armholes a bit. I've noticed that they were too wide. You can mark how to adjust armholes at a fitting. I just know how they should look like, so I can do it by sight. I'll cut about 1 cm of the shoulder. Natalie made the mock-up a bit wider. But I don't want my dress to be white. Now I got this extra detail. The dress will be very beautiful. For 
The neckline and the armholes are ready. Now I'll make patterns for the two detachable details. This one, collar, and this one. I think I'll cut the darts. I remind you that they are tacked now. Watch what I'm doing. You'll understand why I'm doing it later. I know that what I'm showing now seems very complicated, but actually it's not. The thing is that you need to understand what I'm doing. This is the neckline, and this is the first detachable detail. I want to outline it with a marker pen of the other color. Don't try to make the sides of this detail even. They can be a bit different. It's absolutely okay. This is how these details should look like. Now I'll trace it to a piece of tracing paper. This is the shoulder seam. This detail will fit the shoulder perfectly. I'm making lines more beautiful now. I remind you that the part of this detail will be attached to the front. and the other part to the back. I sign the neckline. The pattern is ready. This is the detail I'm working with now. Now I can move this pattern aside and move on to the next one. Natalie's lines are a bit round, but I need straight lines. It's ok, I'll fix them. I know that I'm experienced enough to draw and cut straight lines. You can use a ruler if you need it. This is how the detail should look like. I'll sign it. Upper part, center front, side seam. I want to make this side a bit wider. I can do it by side. I'll sign this pattern to center front, upper part, side seam. I will show you the detail when I cut it out. This is the pattern, and this is how the detail looks like on the sketch. It goes from a side seam to a belly. The detachable details are ready. Have a look here. This is the pattern for a lining. I'll cut it now, and then I'll cut the needed lines and trace the darts. We need to cut lining this way, because the dress is asymmetric. Now I'll show you the back pattern once again. You can see that both the bottom and the neckline are asymmetric. This is where the dot is now. I need to move it here. I know that some people don't like shoulder darts, but I don't really care. I know that this is where it should be. 
the dart is tagged, so when I make a cut here, it opens. I don't care about this tagged dart anymore. It would be much better to iron the dart, but I'm not going to do it now. This is how the back looks like now. Very nice. I can start cutting the lining. I'll make it of cambric. I really hope that one length of fabric will be enough. The fabric should be attached to an item wrong side to wrong side. Now the fabric is placed right side down. Now I'll cut the lining along the detail. I'll make a dart somewhere here. I need to trace the darts before I start cutting. This is very important. Now I can start cutting. The lining for the back is ready. I'll sign that this is the right side. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. I can move this part of the lining aside. It copies the back detail. I've put the front detail on the fabric. I'll cut the lining along this detail. The only thing is that I'm not going to cut the darts. I'll just outline them. When I do it, I'll start cutting. Now you can see that I've cut the darts in order to outline them easily. I need to move the chest darts. One of them will be placed here, and the other one will be hidden under the collar. I'll show you everything. I know that this dress is of a pretty complicated design, but it's okay. I'll make the lining of cambric. It's almost ready. Now I can detach the pattern. I've signed the wrong side, and all the darts are outlined. I want to tell you one very important thing. No matter how many tutorials you watch, and how many items you make, you can't say that you can sew if you don't know how an armhole should look like. Have a look at this armhole. You can see that it's a bit bent towards the front. It should be round. This armhole is perfect. Have a close look at it and try to remember how it should look like. If you make a mistake in an armhole, you won't be able to make an item fit you. This is very important. This is the front detail of the dress. The detail is put face up. I'll write it on each detail. Now I can cut this detail. I can ignore the detachable details because I've already made patterns for them. This is the detail I'm going to cut now. I use a ruler to outline the center front. The detachable details are ready, this detail is ready, so now I can move the dart here. The dart is ready. 
Here it is on the sketch. I'll stick this cut with the duct tape. Now I'll cut the next detail, the one which goes from the neckline to the side seam. Here it is. When I cut it, the only thing we'll be left to do with the front will be to move the second dart. Do not forget to sign the details. It's much easier to work this way. Have a look here. I make a notch in the point where the details should match. I sign it. Checkpoint. It's very important to make a notch here. Now I need to move this dart to the shoulder, under the collar. You can draw this line however you like. The thing is that it should be hidden under the collar. This is not the thing you should be worried about. I've cut a new dart, so I can close the previous one. I'll stick it with the duct tape. This is how the pattern looks like now. This is the center front. This is the first dart, this one. This is the neckline, this is the second princess seam, and this is the second dart. It will be hidden under the detachable detail. Have a close look at the pattern. This is how it should look like. You asked me to show you this design, so don't say that it's too complicated. Today I've showed you how to perfect the modeling lines on the makeup, how to cut lining. I've showed you how to make the patterns for the front and for the detachable details. Next time I'll show you how to make pattern for the back detail. I want you to understand that if you learn to make such complicated items, you will be very proud of yourselves. You will feel very confident in the dress, knowing how much work and effort it took you to make it. That's all for today. Let's be different and beautiful. Learn the same techniques I show you and don't be afraid to use your imagination. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.